So historically, cybersecurity has really been an IT subject. The building automation side, the OT side has kind of said, okay, IT's got it. How do you, as, as it's becoming more and more of a thing on the building automation and OT side, how do you share that load? Who, who does what? <laughs> um, so on the controls engineers, me and the, my partner, Gary, we manage the user roles, not access to the network. Um, and we also audit our users every like it's every six months by annual. We allow them what they can do in the automation, gaining access to the network. So that comes from the IT side. So from the IT side, obviously we could spend the entire hour on cybersecurity. So uh, I'm. I'm, I feel somewhat fortunate that I'm not in the information security office, which has a tremendous task to secure uh, a bunch of resources across an entire university campus. Uh, so I, I get focused a little bit more with the critical infrastructure side of things, for trying to help uh, the various owners, stakeholders in operational technology secure their systems. Uh, we do that. We've done uh, various audits. Um, in fact, one of the audits that was done of critical infrastructure across the board at university is the reason my job exists. Uh, they did one in 2014, and they recognized the fact that too many departments were doing their own thing, and we really needed to do a better job of, of uh, making sure that everybody had the same access to uh, good information about security and about how things are structured at the university. So that's been helpful, and then we also brought in uh, other external vendors as time has gone by to validate that we are improving things in our risk uh, profile and doing various risk remediation. Um, also familiar with doing specialized uh, risk assessments within the data center. And we had a tremendous opportunity to test our uh, risk um, procedures when we had a small server fire occur in our almost brand new data center in 2016. Um, so that was uh, a, a, a nice example of finding out that, in fact, most of the assumptions that have been made about how to handle those situations actually worked very, very well. Uh, yes. But having, having an actual uh, fire that produces smoke and uh, forces you to exercise your procedures and processes and recognize where there are gaps uh, is uh, was a uh, was a definitely a nice exercise. Uh, it was a nice exercise because, in fact, the fire didn't cause any particular damage uh, in the data center. But it really it really does point out how closely the IT organization needs to work with the OT organization to re reduce risk, uh, not only when we build things, but in the ongoing life cycle of operating uh, those those uh, facilities. And as I said, I have a particular interest in data centers since that's part of my job role. Uh, but uh, so in that particular case, again, we can flip the idea of uh, IT can provide some suggestions and it's the operational technology side that provides some solutions to uh, helping with the reducing the risk. Um, now, some of those, those are more physical security risks, um, increasing the ability of uh, our various independent detection systems to talk to each other, very much a controls problem. And uh, working, that's that's an area that, for instance, uh, when you asked at the beginning of projects that we worked on together, that would be an area that we definitely worked on together. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out more videos here and here, and subscribe up here. <laughs>